Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. Today's video is about 21.3 Cinnamon desktop, brand new hot off the press. If you haven't seen my first video, you may want to take a peek at it. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon, what's new and tips. Today's video is going to be all about applets. Applets are those things found on your panel. I have some uh, toys to discuss. There's 201 applets currently available on all kinds of things. Certainly not going to install all of them for you, but I'm going to show you some of them. So I'm um, filming in 1920 by 1080. So welcome folks to Linux for seniors. Hit subscription if you don't have the time to watch this in one setting. And uh, I'm going to now discontinue. So applets are found in a couple of different ways on the cinnamon desktop. You can right click system settings. You can click that here, or you can just generally right click on the panel and hit applets this way. All right, so first of all, I have a couple of examples for you. This is the standard mint menu, okay? And this is a applet menu, which is also resizable. And you can move these elements around, just to give you an example of that. All of these are clickable. Then I also have an office center that uh, I have not only the old office, but also the new install at the same time. So different, uh, see I have duplicates of most of these because I have two versions of Office install for Libre. And then I have a documents list on this side. So these are launchers. I can even uh, launch my calendar from here. This is generally meant for Office. If you are using a microphone, um, there's the mute button. Some of these applets do come with a warning, um, but more importantly, there are some features for you. So the next one here is graphics. I have something to do with anything that has to do with graphics. Launchers. Some samples of some of the stuff I've been working on. Okay, you get the idea there. All right, so we have a lot of toys we can talk about. This one here is fully customizable and more importantly, it normally just doesn't have the word my stuff on it. You can even customize this icon if you want. I'll do that for you right now if you like. So if I want a custom icon and I can also use the cinnamon icon and I can also pick my own. So if I wanted to use something from the system, I can do that in a hurry. So applets are found over on this side and then you have applets in this menu also. Let me expand this out for you if you're not familiar with applets. So basically the ones that have the lock symbols like these are not uninstallable. They're, they're just meant to be turned on and off. And sometimes they don't display like favorites, for instance, as you notice, there's no star here, but if I go to the file manager and make my documents folder a favorite, that star appeared down there. And more importantly, I have a shortcut to my file manager now. All right, so these, I just wanted you to be aware, I call these smart icons. If you don't have a favorite, it doesn't display. So more importantly, I added the cinema menu, the graphic center, the mic mute. It does have a warning symbol that it might potentially cause crashes. So I'm going to just make mention of the facts. You, you will see some of those, but I'm currently using that. And the office center is where all those documents were. In the downloads area, if you're not familiar with applets, you have popularity factor, name, date, installed and upgradable. So you can start with the popularity factor. Some folks like the weather thing. I just didn't want to populate the whole panel bar with a bunch of toys, but I, you can see that's a very popular one. Okay, and then we can move down the list. There's a very, very, very long list of stuff in here. As I pointed out, there's about 201 applets in here. Not to be confused with desklets, you also have those. Okay, a desklet is something like this. And I'll give you an example of one. And I, as you can see, there are 50. And I haven't even used one yet on this user. So if I were to install a desklet, for instance, like that one, I would just click the arrow key. It's done the same way as an applet. And then I'll turn this one on. And uh, you may have seen something like this earlier on some of my videos. 
I can configure it here or I can right click and configure it here. It doesn't really matter. I'll make this uh, kind of jumbo if you like and I'll make this fully transparent. And I'll even color the Sundays with like maybe how about a yellow. Okay so I'll put that in the center there. This is a desklet. Unlike these, these are applets. Okay now I can at least this is a quick calendar, so unlike this one, this one actually has events if you bring in other calendars. So if, whether you like this kind of menu or just want to stick with your regular Mint menu, you have options. The cool thing about this is uh, you can also move these. I'll turn the edit mode on. I'll pick it up. I'll toss it over here. And then I'll turn this back off. Now my stuff is over here or I could have put it in the corner. All right, so I have that one. That one is does the uh, graphic stuff. This one does the office stuff. This one does the microphone mute. I don't think I need to demo that, but anyways. Right click, applets. Now what happens is if you are using like the cinema menu, if I were to disactivate it, which is currently configured with my stuff on it, you don't have to worry about this. If you uh, messed it up, you can just reactivate it and it goes back to the menu part and all the defaults go with it. Okay, so th this is highly configurable, by the way. Very, very configurable. So just to give you the examples, I can literally open up anything I want to in here. Okay, so I'll pull that down and close that and very simple to use and again this is highly configurable so if I don't want this down here right click configure and uh, we can do the um, sidebar location on the bottom or the top and what happens when you do that it's at the top now and here's my power off button okay still works the same and um, I've shown this feature before. If you want a timer to go with it, I'll just give you that as an extra. So go to general, turn this on, plug in your times. I'll put in 22 seconds. Enter. Done. It's now 22 seconds on this button and this button. Okay. So go take a peek at that if you just installed 21.3. You have, again, over 200 applets. Thank you for watching.